Hi guys! In this episode I'm gonna finally complete the PE adventure and try two part epoxy party from Green Stuff World. If you like such a detailed work then grab a coffee, relax and enjoy watching. As you already know, there is a lot of PE parts in this kit. My main goal was to paste all of them as accurately as possible. In this scale, the ship with so many details will look great in my opinion. To get this result, you need to be very patient and not to rush. Bending the elements with PE bending tool is of course easier, but it takes time if you want to have great effect. As you can see, all gangways and ladders has these tiny stairs that you should bend accurately. It's not that difficult to damage it, so you need to be very, very precise. I've pasted rocket launchers on the sides and assembled torpedo tubes. As you remember from previous episode, there was some places where the part doesn't fit very well. Following the advice of one of you, I decided to try out Magic Sculpt. It's a room temperature curing two-part epoxy putty that lets you create extra fine, highly detailed sculpture projects. But it is also an excellent repair putty with tremendous strength and adhesive properties. To smooth the clay, I used Dummo by Mick rubber brush and water. You can also use Green Stuff World Sculpture Vaseline, which is probably better than water, but to fill my small gaps water was enough. After mixing two components, it gets clay consistency and gives you about 1-2 to two hour of working time. It cures to a strong rock hard finish that can be sanded, painted and drilled. I shaped the clay that left into let's say small stone and wanted to check how strong it will be after curing time. I pasted life rafts on the sides and proceed with elements on main superstructure.
To patch the crane for boat launching, I put the boat first and measure the exact place to assemble the crane. The boat will be painted separately, so I'm taking it from the ship for now. As it would be very difficult to even the surface inside the boat, I decided to use very thin ultra glue as a self-leveling screed. After 24 hours, magic sculpt putty is really strong as a rock. It also doesn't change its shape, so it looks like a great material for sculpting and repairing. It will be definitely very useful with dioramas or to make some self-made elements. After pasting the bolt winches, I checked if the bolt would fit and moved on to the Otto Melara compact gun. Then I've pasted the anchors and get rid of the plastic parts on the stern sides. Let's get back to PA parts then. After pasting this railing, I realized that the ladder must be a little bit to the left. Fortunately, with ultra glue it's not a problem, a bit of water and you can easily change the parts position.
As you can see, there is really lots of PA elements. Some are really tiny. Here are some parts for machine guns. Nice! I know that this is probably the third episode while I'm still assembling P parts, but I wanted to show you that it's really a time consuming process. But if you look closely, you can actually see some plastic elements in this model. The ship looks amazing with so many PA details and I'm not sure if I still wanted to paint anything. I know it was a long break from the last video on the channel, mainly because I had some short holiday. I visited miniature Wonderland in Hamburg and maybe, but just maybe, there will be a short review of this visit here on the channel. We will see. For now, take care guys and keep modeling, bye!